Okay, so this is 7.4. This is 7.4. Exercise is 7.4 on uh, uh, calculus 30. And this is in the applications of trig derivatives uh, section. So it's part of the homework number six. So we have a rectangle A, B, C, D. A and D are on the equal sides of the triangle. So here's A and here's D. B and C are on the base. Okay, so here's B and C. AB is 2 centimeters and BC is 6. So I'm going to put those numbers right there. The rectangle itself does not change. But what this question is asking is what is the value of the base angle? So here is the base angle theta that produces the triangle of minimum area. So right away we're dealing with area. We want to minimize the area of this triangle. So just to visualize this, we could have a triangle that meets all these requirements but that looks quite a bit different, right? It could look like this, all right? Pardon the not straight lines there, but you know what I'm saying? The triangle could look like this, and this would be a different theta right here. So what is the proper angle? You can see as we get really steep, right? That might not be, you know, that might be a pretty large area really as well, right? So where is the angle, and what's the angle measure that we're looking for? So that's the question. Now. Um, what I would suggest, okay, is to split this triangle in half because it's always nice to deal with right triangles, right? So that would make this a right triangle. This would still be two. This right here would be three, okay? So I'm going to do this. And the other thing that you want to know here or you want to realize is that this angle theta is the same up here as it is down here. That's the same. Isosceles, these are right angles, so we've got parallel lines, um, you know, transversal, all that sort of stuff. So, all right, so we know that the area of the triangle is one half the base times the height. And what we're trying to do is trying to figure out how I can express one half of the base, that's there to there, and the height. And what we see is. Attention, all staff one half of the base would be three plus something this little distance here and this height would be two plus something so it looks like these would be good options to make uh, you know uh, variables right so really the area now is three plus well let's make this one x here three plus x times two plus well, another one let's make it y and that's one half the base three plus x times 2 plus y. So you with me so far? Yeah. So here, here we're introducing some unknown values x and y and we're now we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to try and involve or write this expression in terms of theta, in terms of the angle. Because what I want is I want an area function in terms of theta only. Okay? And we can do that because we have uh, our Sokotoa, right? So ka toa See you later. Okay, so um, x, what is x? Well, this is x right here, and if you take a look at this angle, this 2 is opposite, this is adjacent, so opposite and adjacent is tan, right? So tan theta equals 2 over x, or x equals 2 over tan theta, or 2 cotan theta, got that? Plus 3. Now, well, this is just the x, okay? We're not, we're not interested in the plus 3 yet, but, but yes, this is the x value. And so this x value comes in here. So yeah, this area function now is going to be 3 plus 2 cotan theta. Similarly, the y value over here, if this is an angle here, then this is opposite, and this uh, 3 value is the adjacent. So over here we have tan of theta now equals y over 3, or y equals 3 tan theta. And so building onto our area function, we have 2 plus y. What's y? Well, it's over here. 3 tan theta. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're kind of scratching your head there, all I did was I started off with a basic area function. I wrote the base in terms of a variable and the height in terms of a variable, given the lengths that we were given in the question. I then looked at the two variables and I say, how can I make them in, those two variables um, expressed in terms of one 
uh, variable or one unknown and of course the unknown that's referred to in the question is the base angle so that's why I made uh, this theta and then I realized that tangent relates the two and the x here and the y and the three here and that's how I got to this point okay so now now that we have our area function what do I do to the area function now derivative right can't forget that derivative okay now should I take the derivative um, I, I could um, you know take the derivative here right now uh, and do it as a product rule but I would suggest I would actually I don't know if this is easy or not but I would suggest maybe doing some simplification here first like ex expanding it out maybe and just simplifying see what we get so I don't did you do that or okay so let's multi let's do this some foil so this is six and then we have plus nine tan theta, right? Plus four cotan theta, uh, right? And then plus, what's this over here? Six, what's tan plus cotan? Or tan times cotan is one, right? Okay, so yeah, so two times three is six and then cotan times tan is one. Right? Gotcha. Okay. So the 6 and the 6 can be combined here now if you want to write that. That's fine. This is, so that would make this 12. When we take the derivative now, that 12 goes away anyways, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's the derivative of tan? Uh, it should be x. secant squared theta. Okay, good. And what's the derivative of cotan? Uh, cotan is negative cos. Okay, ah, yeah, you're right, negative cosecant squared theta. So we're going to make this, instead of plus 4, we're going to make it minus 4 cosecant squared theta. Does that make sense? Now you get to this point, and we want to let this now equal 0. So the derivative now, which is this expression, we're going to let that equal 0. And what you can do, a couple things, I suppose. Uh, you could uh, separate these and take the square root of both sides. Yeah. Or you could factor this as a difference of squares. Okay. So a difference of squares would look like this. 3 secant theta plus 2 cosecant theta times 3 secant theta minus 2 cosecant theta. And you could let each of those equal 0. And so if this equals 0, we have 3 secant theta equals negative 2 cosecant theta. And over here, we have 3 secant theta equals positive 2 uh, cosecant theta. This should be CSC. All right. So um, and then we divide by 2 both sides, divide by secant both sides. So we have 3 over 2 equals what's cosecant divided by secant? Uh, well, cosecant is 1 over uh, sine, and secant is 1 over cos, right? So we have 3 over 2 equals, this looks like uh, cotan theta, or 2 over 3 equals tan theta. Now you may Sorry. have to just Sorry. absorb Sorry. this for a second. And I'll do the other side here. So the other side here now is then going to be negative 3 over 2 equals cosecant theta over secant theta, which is negative, turns out to be negative 2 thirds equals tan theta. All right, so it appears that um, for uh, this theta here is going to be, I think, negative 0.588 radians, and this theta is going to be positive 0.588 uh, radians or so. So obviously we're going to forget about the negative value for cos uh, or for theta and go with the positive value. So it appears that the angle that would produce the triangle with a um, uh, with a uh, minimum area is going to be 0.588 uh, radians. Now you could, all right, what you could do is put 0.588 into here and, and to test to see if it's a max or a min really you can put you can test you know one other point put uh, you know 0.6 radians right or put one radian or whatever in there and just see if the area is larger or smaller because everything else should be either s bigger or smaller 
to test if it's a local max. You could also do the second derivative and plug that value in to see if it's a local min or max, but that's going to be a whole heck of a lot of work. So I would just pick another value. So let's just say, what if this, what if this was a little bit smaller? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that going to be, so maybe you pick, instead of 0.588, pick 0.2 radians, plug that in, go ahead and evaluate it and see if the area is bigger or smaller. So I'll save you a little bit of that check time. This is the angle for this question that produces the um, area with minimum, a triangle with minimum area.